Hi, it's David here with Futures Trading. I got some great stuff we're going to do this morning. We're going to read that 930. This is going to be our third and last session for the price action reading. So if you're new, I got some templates too for you guys that um, it's free. So I got some free templates for you. I forgot to mention that since two weeks. I think it was two weeks ago. I got a little surge on a video. So two weeks ago, I got a surge on the video and I forgot to tell you guys about the free templates I have. So I got free templates. I really do. And um, you can have them up until May. I'll be providing free templates to you. All you got to do is request them. I believe I was at 246 on the subscribers. And so our community has, I guess, gained about almost 50 people. So in two weeks. So now what I want to do. Yeah, let's let's do it this way. I want to, again, just bear with me. Give me a couple minutes. I know 930 will be coming in just a second. And we're going to hurry up and definitely take a look at that. But nine minutes, I'm going to go ahead and cover this. I want you guys to know what it is to deliver content to you. I want you to know what it is. It's really important that you understand me trying to give you information, what I have to do to care about you. And I, I trust me, I care. That's the whole reason why I created the channel. And I'm trying to get some other fellow caring professionals to do it with me. That's important. I just, I would just want, and we're going to talk about majority. That's, that's another reason why I'm showing you this. Cause majority, we, I told you guys, majority, <laughs> it, it, tends to, of course, you know, causes the minority to follow them. I don't want to follow the minority, so I don't want to be transformed into what society is, all right? And so here's some of my experiences while being on the channel, so you guys can see. And I, trust me, I have videos. If you go comb through this stuff, I got some videos addressing some of this stuff to these people, okay? So I'm not making this stuff up when I tell you it's, it's, it's daunting trying to get you guys information to care about you because the majority of society is evil. And I'm looking at the numbers. It's proven in the numbers. There's a, actually a teenager in our midst that has came, you know, came to the channel and expressed how he appreciates the information. And um, my channel is not made for children, but his dad, you know, suggested that because his dad is learning as, as well. His dad said, you know, suggested a channel, you know, so he can watch it as well. And I'm thankful that, you know, his his parents, you know, actually, you know, consider the information here useful enough to allow their their child the 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 heart of who you know what makes them you know try in life and i'm sure that's their heart and they allow him to learn from me that means a lot and so to have other adults here because much again my channel isn't made for children even though i'm not discussing anything beyond charts it's it's really interesting how children and we always badmouth the kids and you know well not everybody but most people blame society's problems on children and that's not right most of the things that children are doing i'm gonna just say let's let's take a look at at the tree that's that's holding the fruit i'll just say it like that so and i'm coming in contact with it firsthand so new trader new trader i want to say this to you please don't be like these people that's 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 doing this please please don't be like none of these people that's doing this so if you're you're new here i know i got a couple of new followers since making these uh sessions please please whatever you do don't be like them don't be like them all right so i just wanted to show you what i'm dealing with that's that's really important but before going further let's take a look around i want you to see i made just a couple of adjustments to the channel uh, because I wanted to remove some of the, the playlists. I, I just do. I want you guys to really focus in on some information. All right, we're going to read that chart in real time. But we're going to do bar by bar. We're going to do, uh, you know, of course, the two bar. We're going to do the structure. We're going to do a, a few things. We're going to do a, a few things. So there's only these playlists here. So if you're trying to counter trend, you're more experienced trader, you can definitely use this information down here to help you out. Try to walk through how not to uh, get caught by the market when it's not doing the uh, universal price action trend. I mean, universal price action method. So I, I try to give you an insight as to what they look like. And we'll talk about a little bit of that right now. So, but uh, since, since being, uh, I guess, you know, commented on about the hundred dollar offer, all right, there's again, just until May, I want to give you guys my indicator suite. So you don't have to spend three, $400 for one price pattern. There's people that have stepped up, you know, fellow professionals here that said, you know, some things to encourage people to look at it differently, you know, because I know the, uh, the trading community has a lot of stuff going on. And it's hard. It's hard for you to filter out what's right and what's wrong. And I totally get it. But that still doesn't account for your you're not supporting the information that actually works. So, dear friend, and I mean, fellow professionals here, just just expressing their, you know, their uh, appreciation for the information here. All right. So. 
another fellow professional, he actually has he has a lot of information. He don't just have the indicators. He has some information about the indicators, and that's what makes it work. So for for the hundred dollars that I'm willing to give the indicators to you guys, <laughs> let me let me click on it. For the, OK, that's a commercial ad. I don't want to see that. But for the hundred dollars that I'm willing to give you guys the indicator, the indicators, I'm going to just give them to you. Then, you know, just follow the plot. But again, he he actually got the details behind why what makes for the plot. And that that is that's that 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 does cost a little bit, just a little bit to know why they're plotting. But I'll give you the indicators and the templates just for 100 bucks. And here's him expressing how another fellow professional here expressing how he appreciates the indicators. And again, <laughs> everything that I, I'm telling you on these charts, I'm trying to code it into signals. So that way it just plots for you and you can, you know, just have a little bit of affirmation if you're someone that prefers to have some confirmation on your chart while you're trading. Do you need them? No. And I outright say that in so many videos I do. And so I forgot to, again, provide the uh, information about the free template. So I went back through the videos and made sure I dropped that in there. So new, new, new traders that's coming on board, please look under the videos. If I forget to say it, please look under the videos. And I, and I get, again, I made, made sure I dropped that in there too. So you'll understand what I'm up against to care about you. I have to do stuff and over, overcome, you know, obstacles and all of that to, work my way around to get to the person that I need to reach. All right. So the channel is all about fate. I did not. And I want to say this to you. I did not pay for no subscribers, no followers, no likes. I don't do that stuff. That's deceptive behavior. I'm not going to sow deception to try to trick you to be enticed to be a trader when you could possibly lose your money. Why would I do that? That's crazy. I'm not doing that. And so for all of the months that I've been offering, because I've only been here eight months, well, going on that, I've only been here for about nine months. And I've been offering free templates and I'll show you what they look like. So you'll be aware of what you can get for free. All you got to do is email me. I've been offering free templates and the comment that was given about me suggesting, you know, hey, you can have my toolbox for 100 bucks stirred someone so bad. But there wasn't no comments when I was offering free tem free templates. Won't well, nothing being said. So I, I just want you to know I'm doing the best that I can to my fellow professionals here. I am trying my best to make sure that I give you guys an experience that you've never had in the YouTube space and, and something that you can actionable information that you can take to the chart and begin to trade. I just want to make sure I say that to you guys. Thank you for being patient enough to hear me out. And if, and if you didn't want to hear me out and you want to push fast forward, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm trying to make sure that you get some information that again, could probably better help you become a well-rounded professional, which it just means polite. Let's take a look at the word. It just means polite. OK, encompasses the personal and corporate standards of behavior expected from professionals. And this is the etiquette part. Being polite. That's all it is. Polite behavior. I know YouTube got and got everybody thinking being a professional trader means making billions of dollars. No, the definition doesn't say that. It doesn't say anything about that. It talks about knowledge. People that do your taxes, they're professionals. They're tax professionals. People that work on your car, they're professional mechanics. We got to stop this trying to put. <laughs> Let's let's just go here. All right. So here advice. So a mentor. I want the market to mentor you. All right. I'm just trying to let you know what it's saying. Advice and help gives help and advice. Now, if I try to give you some advice and it cancels out your help, then I'm not your mentor. I'm not it. You might have to subscribe. I honestly suggest that you do. Please leave the channel right now. If If what I'm saying to you don't appeal to you in no way, please do me a favor. I don't want to encounter too many more nasty people. I, I really don't. I don't. Please leave. Unsubscribe right now. Hit the button and leave, please. The majority rule. This is what I'm trying to point out to you for you to be able to spot the activity on the chart. It's the principle that the group which has the most supporters get to decide the rule that all, included in the opposing minority, will be compelled to abide by. All right. So now let's take a look at the chart. It's 930. All right. So let's see if we can spot. We only have majority. That's all we're looking for. We're looking for this. Now, if you want to go down, it's only this rule. So I don't have a lot of specifications for you. I don't. It's this. Now, if we're going up, we're looking for this one right at 930. All right. So there's that's not a trend up. So let's let's try to do do this in a broad tactic here. We want to see. Let me tell you this before we get started. See if the market can stay above this price by the end of day. So 17, 5, 13 point five. We're going to see if they can do that by the end of the day. See if they can stay above that price. I just wanted to put that there for you. So if you're trying to swing trade. 
let's see if we can get that done. So right now we only have one, two, three, four, five. That's only six. That's not a trend up. All right. So they're still beneath the center of the chart. Now let's let me give you an estimation about how far it's going to go using the chart. All right. So we're going to use the chart. So before they actually took off, let's just do something like this. Now you know what? Let me measure it with this now. Oh man, don't move. I'm trying to measure the, the scale. All right, so something like that to that effect. All right, so before they took off, they may give a rotation right about here. Now that's just using the scale. All right, using the chart scale. I meant to do it before it got to move and do forgive me. But here come the rotation. This is just using the chart scale. All right, so how to kind of know when you're low after it gets broken, could it come back? I've been trying to stress to you guys that it will come back most most of the time most of the time i promise you it do it's very difficult to get them to get two consecutive closes beneath pivots almost impossible they will fight you so hard not to do that now should they do that and i'll say this should they do that they still gonna come back it's a good chance they will and then possibly rotate again so now if they're popping up and they decide to take back off will it look to something like this or will it look to some well they popping up a little higher here well maybe they're gonna go all the way up maybe they're gonna but what what you can do with your chart scale is use this measurement all right so let's let's do this let's use this measurement let's do it again here let me get a little bit more yeah that's still yeah that's that's precision all right so that's precision there let me see yeah, they almost got to the bottom of that. They almost. All right, so it's a little bit more precise. All right, so now, all right, so that's pretty much what they're doing all the time in a nutshell. Now, can they do more than that? Yeah, they can. They can. But given the the swings, I'm trying to give you an idea. That's all I'm doing right now, just trying to give you the chart. All right, so that's that's almost there. Small rotation, then they got near, near the bottom of that, and then you got a bigger one. All right, so... Now, on the in-between rotations, and it lifted up, kind of got near the back of that, and then dropped again near the bottom and then rotated. All right, so they're doing doing this. So this is just a tactic I want you to just kind of consider when uh, using the chart. The chart frame itself, so they pushed up to the top of that wick, got back down near the bottom of here, and that would kind of help you know where it could turn at. They, they stop there. You know they're not going through that bottom as of yet, okay? They're not going. And then we're going to go bar by bar. We're going to do all of it. Trust me, we're going to do all of it. But they got near you. Once this, this bar stopped, you can just use the measurement of your chart and say, hey, it's a chance that if you rotate, you may, you know, get this far and then, you know, possibly turn back around. Small little tactic, little little tactic you can use if you want. Just something, something using the chart scale. And all I'm doing with the chart scale, now I'll explain it to you right now. This bezel, if you will, it moves, all right? Well, the chart scale moves, the bezel don't. So if they're going to turn the market, they absolutely would have to do it in front of you, all right? So the middle of the scale is here, all right? So the middle of the scale is here. And so if they're going to turn the market, this is why I don't have to look left, because if they're going to turn the market, it has to happen directly in front of you. So you don't have to wonder off to the left where where is it that they're going to you know turn the market. You don't really have to do that. You can, but I suggest you use the principle of majority if you do. But if they're going to turn it, it's going to have to happen in front of you. That's really important that you understand that. All right, it's going to happen in front of you. And so somewhere within this frame when it goes to turn, it's going to happen. And so I divide it in half and then I take the lower half of the frame and I divide that in half as well. And just by doing so, I take just what you just saw me do. I took a measurement from this half down to the bottom of the bezel here. Okay. And then I took a, 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 another measurement, if you will, from the middle of the scale down to the bottom of the actual bezel here, the screen. And then I just project it forward. Now let's take a measurement. Let's just take a measurement here. Let's do it from the middle down. And then we're going to project it off the bottom. All right. So let's go here, down, and then let's do this again. All right, so they're reaching outside of it. They're reaching outside of it. That that's fine. They can again. They can go further. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what rotations could look like. What it could look like using your chart scale. What it could look like using your chart scale. Now let's get a minor one one more time, and then we're going to move over into some other content. And I'm going to be here with you for a little bit. 
be here with you for a little bit. We're going to see what that looks like. So they can get about down here. I doubt they'll do anything drastic. I do. I don't think they're going to come back down here. So let's see if they'll get right about there. They're stopping. Let's see if they'll drop, drop right down into the bottom of here and then turn around and come back up. Let's see. All right, so that's right about here. Let me just put something there. Then I'm going to move the box out the way. And right about here. Let's see if they move down to right about there. And then I'm going to move this out your way. Now, if they decide to go again, <laughs> which I don't know if that's going to be the case. But let's see. Let's see if they decide to go again, what they'll do if they get up here. Let's see. And that's almost to our upper our upper quarter. But let's see what happens when they get right near here. Let's see what, what it does. They didn't want to push down, so we're going to see what they're going to do when they get up near the top of that uh that zone. There, we'll we'll see. See if you'll start to see uh, weakness, or will they just run straight straight into that? And we'll we'll see. Clearly, you can see the bars are almost the same size of the uh the uh, box I'm drawing. It's almost the same size of the box I'm drawing, so that may give you an idea of what the volatility could be as well. So they got outside of our box. These guys is not playing. <laughs> they are not playing. All right, let's let's see. Let's see what we got to get on this. It's just a, oh man, I didn't I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Let's take the measurement all the way. Let's just take the measurement from here. Put it on the back of here and see what they do if they get up near that 580. Now remember I told you that there's a price below us down at 175 13 5 you wanted to see if they'll close above that today so they you know they can move down here now they're turning back around all before the market gets started now that's a whole nother approach uh to trading the markets now that's that's the thing that you would uh you would have to essentially uh you have to go go you know a little further with the uh <laughs> with the purchasing to get get that kind of information but it's useful it's useful trust me it is because it'll it'll impact how you interact with these these uh trends it'll, it'll impact how you go about trying to trend trade yeah they didn't get all the way out there so yeah here they come they're coming back Let's see if they'll come back down here all right so now let me talk about why we're doing that why we're doing that let me just put a line there see what happens when they get right out here Let's see. What, I know they, they should keep going, but I'm going to just put that there. Let's see what they do. All right. So that's all it is. I just try to give a measurement. It's 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 better when they're cyclical and not as parabolic. That's all I'll tell you. When they're being very cyclical and they go to break them lows, just take just take a measurement and just, you know, project it forward. And I guarantee you'll see they fall right into the, uh, the, the area and then try to rotate back towards you before they do another one. All right. So really important see they're not getting there without trying to rotate back it's it's important that you take what they gave you because to be a chartist to be a chartist all you need is a chart and i try to i uh, trust me i try to give you so many ways of using what they already gave you before you go compiling on a bunch of other information all right so let's one two three four five six clearly they're gonna give us one more Clearly. I mean, absolutely. They're going to give us so small rotation there before they got there. We kind of expected that to be the case. All right. So and they came down uh, near the upper quarter here and they're they're popping off of it. So all of that makes sense. All right. So that that makes sense. All right. Let me just move this. All right. Now. So, they, yeah, this should be the, the other one that we need. It should. Now, let's give a measurement of all of this and then we're going to project it forward and see where that would land us. Now, that. Pretty much will be the trend. I believe they'll close right about up here. They'll close right. The bar timer is with the candle. So if you're seeing that little, you know, ticker here, come on, guy. I thought you would do that. That's okay. Wherever it closed, I believe it'll close higher than that other bar. Please. Let's see if it'll do it. Yes, yes, yes. Please close higher than that other bar. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Please close high. Oh, man. They didn't give me the trend. We should get a higher close. I'll just leave this here. We'll, we'll get that, that measurement at some point. So now let's do the center of all of that. It is roughly right about here. It's roughly right about there. But let's go just a slightly under it. Let's go slightly under it, and we're going to do something to this effect. Now I'm going to just leave the center there once I get the projection that I need. I do suspect that they'll rotate down, but we're going we're gonna to look at both. Let's look at both. So if they give us the six, I mean the seventh one, it'll be somewhere up here. And I'm gonna just put a line up there where that will be. All right, so let's go here. 
I'm giving you the broad. We're going to come into the candles. I'm going to be with you for a while. So we're going to come into the candles and start reading them. I'm just trying to give you some distance first. So that would be there from the center of the trend. That will be here. So that will be here if they come from the center of the trend. Now, if they turn around right now, that'll still land somewhere in between there. So either which way, that'll make sense. All right. So just trying to give you a couple of. Uh, yeah, they, they can do. Now, this is that scenario. That's the majority scenario. The mid is above and <laughs> above the high. The mid is above the high. That black that black floater is above the high. That's this scenario right here. That's the thing we're looking for to go up. All right. Now I'll point out a couple of the uh the setups for you. And then we're going to start trying to drill into the activity and see can we take a look at it uh, you know, closer. We're going we're gonna get closer. All right. So because I know some of you want to trail it. Now, this would normally be the no close bar. So that would be the no close bar. Okay. No close here. But the hard stop is back here. Now, I got the indicator that'll do it. I do. And that's your trend bar right there. That should lock the trend. Now, I remember uh, one of the fellow professionals here had asked me, come on. Oh, no. This is the seven bar. It closed. It closed. This will be the no close bar, regardless of the fact it's red. It doesn't matter. They don't suppose to close under there. That would be the hard stop. Although I do suspect that they may try to rotate down. Let's see if they'll do it. Now let's find let's find that same scenario back here because it is it is. This is the no close right here. This is the no close bar here. Okay, that's a no close bar because the mid. I'm gonna read it to you in real time in just a second. Just try to bear with me because I'm trying to get all this stuff in place. The mid is above this bar's high, okay? Now, let me open this up just a hair so you can really see it. The mid is above this bar's high, so this is a no-close bar, and then this bar back here is your hard stop bar, okay? So that's your hard stop bar right there. And let me get the uh, arrow for the hard stop bar here, and it's the trend bar. So there's your seven bars, and it's hard stop bar. It's both. All right, so now... I know I had a fellow professional asking about taking the, the trend distance from the seventh bar. In certain cases, it just depends. See, like a case like this, it would to me, it would be more advantageous to, you know, wait to see what happened. Uh, they didn't want to reach down too much further, clearly, but I'm still I'm still I'm still concerned that you may you may run into a problem trying to get, you know, get to definitely, definitely that. You're going to run into a problem for trying to get there. You may be able to pull this one off. I, I do believe that that's possible, but to get way up there, uh, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. And, and so I would have waited. You know, definitely. If you see that 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 six bar come in with weakness like that off that high, I would try to see if it'll come down into this this larger bar here, and definitely use that no close level and see what you can do. Now, in this case, it, it ended up back above the no close level. But in, in my my opinion of it, I would want it to see if it can reach somewhat closer to the center of this whole move. All right. So the center of that whole move, give or take, give or take, let me move this up just a hair because it's a little bit, just a little bit off. All right. So I would have wanted to see if they can come come a little bit closer to the center. All right. Because the moment you do this after a parabolic you know move like this, and I only got one more uh, bar for it to lock in a trend, usually once the trend is set or the trend distance is set, it rotates. So I'm not one to just go run out there on that seventh bar unless the trend itself, because sometimes they'll build a trend. This is this is how slick it happens sometimes. It, it's really slick. They'll build a trend on you, right? And they'll do little small bars like, you know, like a bleed up, if you will. Like they have no intent on going anywhere. And occasionally they'll give you a big one, but they try to make it such a secret to keep you from knowing that that's what they're doing. And then all of a sudden, you know, you'll get something like that, you know? And so, but if you if you get this, you know, within the seven, you know, you just get this and they're just accelerating, pushing, 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 pushing. I want to see if they'll come back. They're kind of what they're doing now. <laughs> I want to see if you'll do that and then I'll go with you because yeah, and it's just experience. That's all. It's just experience doing it for years. You just you learn to wait. You, you know, you just don't don't chase into it because you know that you, you'll you know that this this. <laughs> This this is not what you want to run after. If you can't get into it, which I'm I'm gonna try to teach you the best I know how how to get into it while it's moving. All right, while it's moving, I want to show you how to do that. You don't have to look left. You really don't. I didn't look left, and I'm I'm not going I'm not going to do too much of that on on this one either, because I want to kind of make sure that I drive home the point of how to read it 
while it's moving, while it's moving. All right, really important. All right, so let me just get rid of some of these markers. I don't want too many markers on the chart. We're going to have some up here because remember, I leave the thumbnail based on the chart and what we covered. All right, but because I'm going to be up here for a little while, I won't. I don't want these markers up there. All right, so they managed to get under the no close level. Remember, remember that this bar is the hard stop bar as well. So they kicked this one. That didn't work. They did push up higher. I mean, they pushed down into it. You know, they did. And then they, they offered you, you know, higher. Now, in yesterday's video, and we're, this is a trend from the bottom of this bar, if they plan to go up, this is the distance you are to expect to the back to the open of that bar. Okay. So they pushed down, they did push down, but they've already done this distance. Let me start reading this thing in real time for you. Now, let's see, can we get the mid, let me take it, let me see, can I read, let me, let me reload this chart really quickly here. All right, so the mid is not above the bars high yet, it's not. So uh -uh, that's not gonna work. So you may still get some overlap. Now, what I'm explaining to you, now the wick from the high, man, just in case they want to go down, the distance of this wick off that high is your trend back down. So it, when the bar closed, you got to take this distance of this wick and then project it forward if they're going to go down. And that would put them here, which will run that stop. Okay. So I, I, it offered you the distance of the wick off the bottom. It offered you that. Now, usually you would project that from the open upward. Okay. So they don't have no business breaking your wick if they're going to give you the distance of that wick. So the wick is the trend. And of course, you need to expect trend distance. And they gave you that on this side. And I just explained to you that the wick from the top, okay, this wick from the top up here as they were coming down, give or take, give or take, the moment that that green bar closed, that is your expected distance back down. All right. So that's your expected distance back down. Now, in its totality, let's say it didn't want to go down. Let's let's say it didn't want to go down. You would expect, OK, the size of the bar as, as a completion back to the upside, which would have put them up here. OK, so you would expect that distance to the upside. This is what I wanted to see that right there here it comes all right so you want to see if they'll if it's parabolic just see if they'll come back to the center of the trend because remember it's the cost of the thought and there was at this point there was no deliberation if you will no weighing out whether or not it's worth continuing in that direction remember every time you have a thought every time now remember the off the bottom of the wick up to the open that's a trend or the close if it's a red bar that's a trend either which one we got about 20 seconds. We're going to go with the uh, open because they're moving away. So you're expected for them to get up this high should it just stay a, a bullish bar. And if it's a red one, we can do the same. We just have to come down. That's all. We have to come down a little bit to where it closes at. Now the wick is smaller, so we're going to go something to this nature. All right, so that's your expected distance back up. And they have no business breaking the low of this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, bar here. If not, let me give it to you this way, you can expect the total movement, let's say from the close, from the close, that would put them roughly about here. Now, if they don't want to do that, let's say they're faking you out, all right, you would go for something like this off its close, and that still put them back through. The, that's why you get those, those sharp breaks, and then it come right back, because they're giving you the trend, because remember, wherever the bar open. Wherever the bar open, okay, wherever it opens at, that's a trend, all right? So they offered you that distance, but it put it right right through the low. It put it right through the low, and then they're rotating back up. So it's a little tricky sometimes. But I will tell you, please take an assessment of those wicks. That is a trend in itself, and sometimes you'll get faked out. They're at the center. They're at the center, the cost of the thought, all right? They're at the cost of the thought. Now, let's do the distance. Let's do the distance from back here. Let's do the distance. We're going to do some more of that, that reading because I know they kind of flipped it really fast on us right there. So let's let's do some more of it. Let's do some more. You're going to trust me. You're, you're going to have to practice this. This is not something that you're going to just automatically nail. Yes, yeah, see, that's still right about there. Just I was just a little bit off. Just a little bit off on that. That's still land right right about in the same scenario. Matter of fact, let me just move that line. 
just so it can be exact. All right, so there you go. So that's where it should go if it want to stay up, if it want to stay up. Now, let's say it don't want to stay up and you want to get a jump on the downtrend. Just start with this. No, there's no seven bars here. No seven bars. But if they're going to move down, let's say they're going to do do they're going to do that. Let's say they're going to do that, which I doubt they will. There's the mid above this bar. It's high. They should keep going to the upside. All right. So this mid is above this bar is high. That's what you're looking for. That's that one rule. No whole lot of specifications. That is a trend off that bar is high. So they better not break this wick if they're going to go down. And then this wick distance should produce that decline back down and that would put them through the low of the bar now i'm going directly off the off the close off the close of that green bar and so that's why it's difficult to try to trail because they'll they'll give you a trend of the wick off the high or off the low for that matter and then they'll just sometimes they'll only do the distance of the wick. That's why I'm making so much emphasis on the wick side, because just just like they did here, they broke that low and then came right back up. Sometimes they won't give you the whole bar. Sometimes they just won't. They, they won't offer that. But they did end up doing the same the same distance of this bar down. They did. So they wind up giving it to you. You may get ready to get the trend. Let's see. I thought they was going to come back off that low. But that's why I make it. The, the uh, emphasis on the trend being the wick, because I want you to start paying attention to the wick as well as a trend. The whole bar is a trend. Trust me, the whole bar is a trend. But if you have to break it down based on fluctuation, and that's what I'm trying to teach you how to read the fluidity of it. The, the open and the wick is a trend. All right. So the open is and the wick is a trend or the close and the wick is a trend. It would have to depend on what type of bar it is and where it's coming from. So you have the trend and then you have the trend distance. The wick should be identical, the distance, if you will. The distance should be identical. Try to go for that first until you get your feet wet and understand the movement. Once you start going for the distance of the wick, you will become much more efficient at trying to get the whole bar. You will. But start right there. OK, so this is a. Uh, <laughs> It's interesting now they're trying to trying to trick people. Now, now I, I don't know if they want to break this. I don't know, but I am giving you the projection, and that's back down here. All right. So, and as you can tell, once they get to the open, they're almost offering you that same distance again. So, yes, you can ride this bar. I know you guys probably thinking that, like, hey, why do I have to wait for the next bar? You don't. That's why I'm trying to read it to you in real time. But I do want you to expect a, a particular behavior when the bar closes. I do. I want you to expect a particular behavior. But while the bar is moving, once you see that wick and it comes back to the open in this uh, in, the, in this scenario, and now from below, it would be the close, you know, vice versa. It just depends on if it's a bull bar or bear bar. Once you see the wick, you can begin to factor in, hey, now this is a trend back in this direction. Bang, hard stop. Let me see, can I get the distance of that wick in this direction okay same thing i want you to be able to read the bar i'm trying to now i'm trying to teach you how to read the same bar not waiting for the next one then going for the distance i'm trying to teach you how to read this bar while it's in motion so now you see this wick okay and that wick that's where you're getting your spinning tops that's where you're getting your hammers that's where you're getting that type of activity and it has nothing to do with those funny names it's just trend and trend distance that's all it is and i, I want to make sure i'm reading this this stuff to you now, you see, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You see the distance of this wick, okay? Now, remember, they don't suppose to break the back of this bar, because that's that pattern. The distance of that wick, it's back in this direction, and they're breaking above the high of this wick. Now, if you're going for the bar behind it, now let's go with the two-bar aspect. This was supposed to be your trend, the center of your trend, and then they're supposed to have produced that distance. OK, now they got close. They just didn't make it. So they don't supposed to break the back of this bar. Now, we're just using two bars. So every bar is a trend. All right. Just want you to know that. So let's every bar is a trend. And within the bar bar is a trend. So it's it's movement is and you got to learn how to practice. You got to practice this. Don't please whatever you do. Don't just go run out here and expect this to work without you practicing. So if this red bar, which it is off the bottom, that red bar is your trend bar. Let's say this is your trend bar, all right, from top to bottom. Let's just go with the whole bar. That whole bar, 
we're going to keep expecting that to the upside. So let's see, can we get it to go up here? Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to go up here and hit this target right back into this high. Now, when it comes to the turns, the mid of the reversals are important. All right. So I don't have a 15 second chart uh, out because I know in order to do this, you're going to want to use a one minute. You're going to want to use something that's a bit slower if you're trying to get closer, uh, you know, doing you know, one bar uh, entries, you're going to, you're going to want to use something that's a little bit broader than 15 second charts. When I'm reading 15 second charts to you, yes, I just go and just, let's just look for this pattern. And it's okay. When I'm doing a one minute, it provides a little bit, it just provides me a little bit more time to explain it to you. And it makes, it makes the, uh, you know, of course the, the whole exchange here, just a tad bit easier on me, but you can read this stuff, uh, even with the one minute, uh, Let's say they want to go down. Let's say, let's say we just say, and if they want to go down, I don't, I don't think that's it because they're not willing to break the back of this bar. Man, I want them to break this in order, to, in order for this to work, get past here, get past here. And I understand, and this is something else I tried to tell you too. When your trend, when your trend distance bar, when your trend distance bar isn't that big and they get under that no close bar, this can still work. It can and you just don't want this to be removed, but it can still work. And until they, they you know, run past this bar, you can end up just getting tricked into going down. And the whole time they're going to turn around and go and do that distance. So don't be too eager to just, you know, go down until they can prove it. You know, that's all. Prove it to me. Because if you notice, none of the majority principles are being, uh, well, the last one. Let's see if this last one did it. Yeah, the last one did it. So if they are going to utilize that principle to the downside, okay, if they are going to use it, here it is. Okay, it's this one. Okay, and it was this one here to the downside. So if you're looking for the downside, I'm trying to explain all of this to you. I'm trying my best to explain it all to you. Let's see, can we get that mid beneath that low? This one was, yeah, that one's beneath that low. I don't have a bar color, and I'm trying to do this without using indicators, you know, using the indicator that I closed. That's pretty even, so that's okay. Definitely, this one was it. All right, so here we go. Yep, the mid beneath that low. So that is majority back to the downside. So you got trapped in between the majority here, and you had majority up here, majority up here, majority is happening right here, and you got it again right here. So they're kind of layering it in on you. You didn't get it directly here because that mid is inside of that bar, and so you had a rotation back up. So there, there's, there's the stop being removed. There's the stop being removed, and I'm trying to give you the distance off of the center of what's up here based on whether or not they wanted to do the trend down. And let me count because it can't be both. Remember, it can't be both. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Can we get five and six? Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's still just four. They can they can turn it around if they want. Do you need to have a trend every time? No, I'm trying to tell you how to read it without uh, the seven bars. I'm trying to teach you how to do it without the seven bars. So you do not have to wait. And that's why I'm trying to give you the projected distance of how far it can go while it's uh while it's trading so that's five all right so let's get this let's get this out As a matter of fact i'll just leave it there so they they there's the uh pivot they broke it can we get two closes they hit it no they're not giving it to us just yet it can keep going it's just not there and so you're going to get the overlap now this is the other part of it right here the rotation let me just slide this out the way so you can kind of see it this is the rotation information here so the new trader new new trader i want to make sure that you understand how to trade it's simple. It's simple. Trust me, I'm going to slow it down for you so you can really, really get it. I'm trying to give the more experienced trader that's probably been following me for a little while because I'm sure the beginner traders aren't the ones just, just watching this. You, you probably got a couple of other, uh, of course, people that's been here watching this as well. And I want to make sure I'm expressing it to them as well. So I want to do it for both. Beginner trader, I want you to start just looking for this. One rule, see, can you find that? All right, see, can you find that? The market don't always offer you this. It gives you some of this. and so. This right here, the rotation stuff is still this. It's just on a compressed level. That's all. It's very compressed and it's not happening in the time frame you're seeing. Okay. Now, when you get experience enough to spot this, which is just that mid falling into the prior bar, that's this. Okay. 
Okay, so you get a bar and then you get, you know, another bar and another bar and mid and mids just keep overlapping. Mids just keep overlapping. The mid is falling beneath that bar's low. Okay, that's the harsh. This is what I want the new trader to try to try to do. Try to find some of that. Try to find some of that in, in the activity. Please try to find some of this because they, they don't have no business coming back past you. I see them trying to make the wick for the for the more experienced trader. They're trying to make a trend back up. They're trying to. But they can't break this low if they're going to do that. And then when the bar closed, four seconds, they should go up. Yep, they should go up about that much more in that direction. So that can lead them back into the center of here if they don't break this low. That's the only problem. If they break that low, they're going to keep continuing dropping to the downside. Okay, so the more experienced trader, I want you to take in what I just told you. Now, back to the new trader. If you see the back and forth with the mids falling into the prior bar, I want you to know that you're in what they would call chop uh, consolidation. I call it rotation because the market is fluid and it's always moving. It's not going to stop. All right. So and and sometimes they go down a little bit further. And that's where people get their funny names with their pennants, flags and all that old other crazy mess. It's just rotation. And then what they can do is they can broaden it a bit but still not really offer you that, you know, and then all of a sudden they'll, they'll give you, they'll give you this at some point. And I want you to be, be certain to look for this. If you're starting out, just look for this. All right, look for that, but they can come back and test back under here. Okay. You just don't want them to knock out your trend bar. This is your trend bar right here. So we're going to treat this bar as a trend. And your bar here, we're going to make sure that this is the trend distance. Occasionally, it's appropriate for them to take out your trend distance. Just don't take out your trend. And the reason why is because we do this. We think, we think, we act on it, do it again. And then, of course, we are known for doing it. And then we get to where we want to go. Whenever you have a thought, you will have the end in mind. No one, no one pursues absolutely anything without knowing what they want okay the market is doing the same thing it's not going to move unless it knows where it wants to be and that's why you need to allow the market to mentor you let the market do it i'm just going to make you aware of what it looks like that's all and i celebrate you if you can implement you know listening listening retain it then implement what it is that is telling you you're the one that i'm gonna celebrate don't worry about me. Trust me. It's you. It takes a lot of discipline, reiteration of, of this information to get you to become profitable and constantly win. You're going to have to keep listening to the market. You don't need me to keep telling you this. I promise you. That's why I'm making this section. So you can come back here, reference the chart, reference the information. Look at the information. You'll hear me talking, but don't worry about that. Look at the chart while I'm talking and read what it's telling you. And then that way, when you go back to your charts, you and I should be able to see the exact same thing. And then that way, you and I get the same results. You don't want you don't want a lot of variation, you know, a whole lot of specifications. You don't want all of that stuff because the moment you start complicating your trading, that's going to show up in your bottom line. I want to give you some plain, plain information, plain information so you can begin to implement that. And so the principle that the market is functioning off of is majority. Because we just read the the, uh, the actual uh, definition of how it works. The mid is falling. Well, it's, it didn't make it. So let's see if it'll rotate back up a bit. Let's see if it'll come back up because it didn't make it. Let's see if it'll rotate back up. It's not to say that this one can't give you the mid beneath the, the, the low. It's not to say that. But you can almost expect the rotation. Because when that mid can't clear that low, this is me giving you my experience. <laughs> I've noticed for myself that they will come back. They they tend to rotate. And so they gave you a, a push back into that bar. And there's that mid. Now, if you want, if you want, if you want, you can again, you can wait till it get right at, at the right at the edge of it and then go ahead and start layering in or you know, use I suggest you start one contract. I do. I do. I want to tell you that. Do not try to put too much on, on trades if you're not really efficient at reading this stuff. Don't do that. But you can you can begin to load in a bit more when you see it happening and then start coming out of it as it push. And then that way you can probably get a little bit more without having to stick around and, and worry about all of the back and forth. All right. So that that mid is falling beneath that low. I'm just giving you hard stops. These are hard stops. OK, now, where are they headed? I believe and that's where they're going. So now let's see. Can they stay? What is that? Five, 13. 
0.5. And then we're going to look at the free templates that I provide. We're going to do all of that. We're going to do, I got quite a bit of stuff I want to go, go over with you guys uh, with the free templates. And then I'm going to show you just a couple of the indicators that uh, essentially I'm suggesting that if you want, if you want them, that's up to you. Like I said, the information is in, in there's some information on this page. I don't want to talk too much about that because for some reason, people get offended whenever you start talking about money. But this is this is money. Everything that we're doing right now has to deal with money. And so what I'm showing you for free, you can absolutely obtain what it would cost to get tools. You you can. And it and I'm trying to make sure that you'll have the money without coming out of your own resources. I want to give you some information that will keep you making money regardless of what you have on your chart. I just want, really want to make sure that you have tools. That's all. So you can reach in the toolbox and make the job just a little bit easier. That's all it is. Now, here we go. Off the low, that's a wick. Okay, so that's a rally off that low. They have no business. Now, notice how they dove right down there near it before making that green bar. Okay, so they have no business breaking the low of that wick up to the close of that red bar. And so you go from the close, don't worry about that wick back there, go from the close and then project it up. And that would absolutely tell you when this red bar close, look at the size of this wick and know that that can put them back here. So why have your stop this close? It's a chance they're gonna get you. It's just that simple. It's a chance that they're coming to get you. So don't have your stop right behind <laughs> this bar. Please don't do that. This is a no closed bar, and there's the hard stop up here for that pattern here, for that pattern here. That is the no close level. This is the hard stop. All right, so let's utilize the chart scale, too, while we're talking. I want to make sure that we do some of that. Uh, they can get back beneath here. That will be great, but if they can just stay beneath here, that will be awesome. All right, so we do have the majority, the majority right here. All right, we got that right here. We have it right here, but I, I do suspect that they may come past that one. Let's see if the no close level here can grab these guys and possibly turn them back around. Let's see, can that happen? Let's see if they can get trapped right here with this no close level. Let me just turn it red so it can kind of blend with the uh, activity here. We want to make sure that they're able to get back to it. Let's see, can we get that to work? All right, so that's a no close level. This is the hard stop up here. Okay, we want to see if see if that can happen. We want to see if that can happen. So expect them to maybe, you know, start trying to push it back down from up here or even here. That's fine. If they want to do it from here, that's fine. Fine as well. So now let me um, let me use a box. Let me use a box so that way you can still see the bar. So from the top of this wick, as long as they don't come back and break the top of this wick, expect that distance down. OK, they are, they're almost there. They're almost there. They're just not there yet, but they're almost there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Let me get that distance one more time. Yeah, they see now. See, they're doing that same thing from off the bottom. They're doing the same thing. They're doing the same thing that they just did down here. The back of this wick right here. If you want to treat every bar like a trend, which I suggest that you start looking at the market that way once you become efficient at reading it. All right, every bar is a trend, and then you can you know go for trend distance. But when you're really good at it, start looking at the wick. Okay, start looking at the wick as you know, a trend. And then you can do it to this one as well because they didn't want to uh, break the bottom of it. Okay. So you do it to this one as well. Let me do this. Give or take. And so you aim. Oh my goodness. That's why I don't like some of these draw tools that will put them back above here. Okay. That will put them back above here, aiming to get back up here. And I told you that they have no business breaking the back of here. Let's see if they can get this mid back above this bar's high okay now you're not getting that that majority principle on the way now there's other price patterns that i okay now it's there now it's there there's other price pattern that i do know it is but this is the one that's on on online and it's free all right so and it's it's applicable i promise you it is now that no that no touch no close that's all i call it because the mid isn't touching and they're not uh supposed to close back beneath this bar and the mid here is not touching that high the mid here is not touching that high at least not right now let's hope that they they yes so the bar ticked out the mid is not touching that high so this is a no close level here this is a no close level that's a hard stop uh right here so this that's for that wick, but this is for the hard stop bar. All right, so that's for the hard stop bar. 
let's begin to count and this will be another one you see how the mid is getting above this high this will be they're running that stop so that's that's fine this will be a, a no close bar here well there's a no close bar and it's hard stop is both and this will be a no close uh bar here so let's see if they cannot close back beneath here I know it's a lot of drawings I'm putting on the chart. I'm just trying not to use the indicator because I know some people want me to just read the plain chart with nothing on it. So I'm trying to do just that, trying to accommodate everyone. All right. So that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Here's five. L let's see. Can we get two more? Let's see. Can we get two more? Let me tell you about how far it will go if it's supposed to go up. So if I get two more, I'm going to say they'll land right in this vicinity here. The mid of the trend will be somewhere to this effect. To go off the trend, it will be right about, I want to say right about there. You'll go off the trend. That will put them back up here to that degree. I'm going to just leave that there. To go off the center of the trend, I'm going to say the trend will be roughly, give or take, right about here somewhere. Uh, give or take. Unless they come down. If they come back down, I'm going to give you a little bit more. If they come back down before doing it, it'll be something to that effect. And then you should be able to get them back right here. So somewhere in between the two of those, you're getting ready to get a target back to the upside if they want to stay up. Somewhere to that effect, both of them is going to put them back past here. So that's that's the main the main point of what I'm saying. So here from the top, remember, that's a big wick on the top. So this is a trend down. That's a big wick on the top. That's a trend down. They passed this one. So that that that's not going to work. So you still have to go up. This big wick here, as it's coming down, getting closer to the time the bar close, that is a trend down. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm just making you aware of trend, trend distance. You can absolutely, with that one, that one bar, say, hey, I only want to risk this much, and I'm going for that much. And you would absolutely made that target, and you would have been out of the trade. Just that simple. Am I telling you to do that? No, you have to make these decisions on your own. My job is to make you aware of how it moves. That's it. All right. So you can do whatever you want. And also, because you're the one that's doing your trading, you can spend your money with whoever you want to spend it with once you make it. So you don't have to spend nothing with me. I offer free stuff, too. I do. I got free templates for you if you just want something free. I got free stuff. And if you want to spend your money, spend it with whoever you would want to spend it with. That's your that's your uh, of course, your uh, your obligation to do whatever you want with your stuff. You don't have to let no one tell you who you who you should shop with and who you shouldn't. All right. So and that's 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 another reason why I wanted to come back and just make sure that I, I do what I, I'm here to do. And that's care about my community. It's my community. I created no one has the right to tell me what I should be doing with, with my community. All right. So I want to make sure that you guys are aware that I'm I'm responsible for what I do. And I just ask that you be responsible for your actions as well. All right. So if you're in the community, and you are finding the information useful, be responsible. That's all. Be responsible. Don't don't let one or two people or five people do all the work. Uh, you might want to be responsible. Um, society is full of evil people. I promise you that. And it's, the proof is in the numbers. It's in the numbers. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not making it up. It's right there in front of us. If you don't want to be an evil person, change. That's all you got to do. It, all you have to do is make a different choice. That's all. Just make a different choice. It's really just that simple. Just that simple. I'm doing my best to help any and everybody I possibly can. Some people don't want to just, you know, of course, do the thing that makes the most sense. And we always teach our children. Here's the thing. We always teach our children stranger danger. Dude, we do not stop being strangers. We are constantly, as the older we get, we're, we're constantly being strangers to one another. And we're not taking the time to be polite. Politeness, of, kind of get right in between that whole stranger danger thing. Because that's what creates the problem between adults. We, that's why the world is the way it is. You got people that wake up and do all kinds of sadistic stuff to other people. Because strangers are absolutely dangerous people. If we take the time to just be polite, considerate, and care about others, eh, the world might start to change just a little bit. I, d I doubt it'll be perfect. I, I can honestly tell you that'll never happen. It's too, it's too many negative people in the earth. I promise you that. But just for the few that want to make the, their surroundings a better place, try being polite. Just try it. Try it to a stranger, not people you know. That doesn't mean that you're, you're not an offensive person. Being ignorant is offensive. And so... 
somebody that's not being, of course, informed and, and taking the time to care about somebody else, they're an offensive individual, I promise you, to someone. Somebody is not going to like your company because you're ignorant. You're doing something that, to me, you need to be informed to change your choices so that way people can enjoy your company. That's all. And I don't like being around people that, that doesn't practice proper etiquette, just being polite. I don't I don't like it. I think it's 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 a problem. Like, what's wrong with just being polite? Civility. Let's make let's make let's make our environment a little bit better. Let's be responsible. Stop blaming children for, you know, some of the things that they're doing in society. It's not just these kids. I promise you, it's these adults. They're some nasty people. So here's a stop. Here's a stop right here. This is the no close. This is the no close level. You see that mid getting above the bars high. All right. So now let's let's take a look. Let's see if I nail that. Let's see if I nail that. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Let's see if I'm pretty good at this. Let's see. Been doing it for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's seven. Yeah, I was I was almost there. I was almost there. So now I don't know if they're gonna get back down here to the center of this trend. I don't know. I'll just leave that there though. So yeah, I I I Gave you the seven. It, it was right there. It was absolutely right there. So now let me just change these to a different color so you'll know which which arrow is for what. I'm sorry if I'm telling you guys some stuff you don't want to hear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop saying certain things. But I, I just I do want my my newest subscribers to not assimilate and start doing the stuff that y'all doing. I, I, <laughs> y'all 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 doing some stuff that I know is it's not right. You shouldn't be that way. You just shouldn't. You know. And I don't want the newcomers to you know get into the community and start doing the same same stuff please don't do that I, I i want some professional people here some polite people that's all being polite that's all i got about i got i say right now i got about nine people that's willing to do that since the the 50 people that came on board i got about three more people that's willing to be polite and like hit the like button and leave their uh their view on the material i got about three more people out of 50. that's why i say the world is such an evil place man it it, it absolutely is it's so evil Evil, absolutely evil. Somebody would try to help you and you wouldn't even take the time to uh to support support them. You know, that's that's just crazy. You'll smug the person, treat them as if you know they're a peasant, like they're supposed to just offer you the best that they have, and you don't have to give a fraction of who you are to to say, Hey, I appreciate you, you know, helping me do this. I thank you. And again, it's it's not me. It's not me. I can assure you, it's not me. I'm just making you aware of what's there. It's the market that's doing it. It's the market that's going to reward you. And it's you that's doing all the work to listen. So it's like, all I'm trying to do is introduce it to you. Isn't that worth a, I don't know, a like, a thumb up? I don't know. You don't have to. I, I don't care. I like helping people. You'll never stop that from being the case. I promise you that. I've helped so many people in my life, and I will keep doing it until the day I'm unable to. I really enjoy it. Take a, I'm talking about a sincere pleasure out of it. I do. It's just occasionally I look around because I'm human. I look around and I take an, an, just an, a, a, an assessment of what's going on. And I said, man, these people are absolutely just offensive. And it's the ignorance. That's all. Ignorance is offensive. I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise you it's offensive. Because if you knew not to be that way, and I mean, no, the ramifications being on the far side of perplexity, you wouldn't even implement some of the activity that you do. I promise you that. If you knew, if you only knew, <laughs> the consequential side of it all. That's all. That's all. If you only knew. You know, but, you know, people's people's values aren't aren't aligned to what makes sense. You know, people care more about money than they care about some of the other things that makes for a great living. You can't take it with you. <laughs> you can't take it with you. Wherever that is, you know, that's all. Wherever that, that is, you, you can't take it with you. So. Just might want to consider some of that. That's all. Just consider some of it. I'm doing the best I can to not just care about people to make make you profitable. I don't want to have have my life echo that where I didn't, you know, address some of the things that I was seeing with people around me when I had oh, clearly I had the knowledge to express a level of, you know, information that, that may have, you know, just I don't know, adjusted the attitudes of, of, of individuals. I don't want to be the one that not that's not doing that. There's too many people in society I see stuff wrong and won't say nothing. Not me. I'm not that guy. If I see something wrong, I'm going to do my best to frame a, a, a just a statement to help you see, you know, hey, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. So hopefully it'll get on up here. They're overlapping those mids. Remember, remember, remember that's this. This is the only things that's happening with these candlesticks. I can assure you. 
not a lot of specifications. Then remember I told you they'll do this and then all of a sudden they'll, you know, hit that or, or even go back this way. You know, they'll do that. All right. So when they're when they're giving you those overlapping mids, be careful. Some, something is going to come out of that. They're, they're not going to just keep doing this. And y'all can call it pennant flags, whatever you want to call it. I don't call it none of that. I call it what it is, rotation. It's just moving up and down, up and down because it's fluid. That's all. It's just fluid. Here's the no close level. Let's see, can it not close under it? There's the hard stop bar. This is why I want the beginner to look for this. Look for that one rule if they're going up. Just one rule. I just want you to look for that one rule. Find the majority in the chart. You do not have to have a lot of, uh, of course, specifications to trade. That's not how, that is not how professional trading is. That is not it. Absolutely not. So now here's this big wick. Okay. Where, where do we expect it to go? Let's see, can it get up there? Let's see, maybe it'll come back down and do it again. We don't want them to knock the bottom of this wick out. If that happens, we we may see you know them come down to, towards uh here, back under this area here. This may not hold, okay? Let's see if they can turn it back around. If they knock this wick out, they, they definitely may kick this pattern. They, they definitely may do that, and that may drive them back down. So the center of the trend, I believe I nailed it. Let's see. Center of the trend. Yep. Center of the trend. Matter of fact, let me just put it right here. Let me put it right here. I'm going to give you both. The center of the trend, off the center of the trend. Here they come. Here they come, knocking that pattern out. You don't want them to take. That is a trend. This big wick is a trend. Remember, you're getting a trend from above. This wick here is a trend. When you see that, do, do not, do not ignore that, okay? When you see them come back with this and then they start bleeding back down into this wick. I know I'm feeding you this pattern here, beginner. I know, but I want to tell you some other stuff too so you don't fall victim. I don't want you to end up in trouble. I don't. All right? Don't want now remember, remember. Remember, let's remember our downtrend cuz I could definitely got to talk about this as well cuz they they're doing that. Remember I took and I should have put that in front of you too with the definitions. I should have absolutely did that. That's that's my mistake. But there's primary and secondary values in life. All right. So you rank the primary thing very high. So that's one, two, three. OK, one, two, three. I got a lot of stuff up here Four. that's five. That's six, six and that's seven. So let's get our seven here. So that's seven. OK, now they can go the distance of the seven. I got to do all of it for you. Do forgive me, guys, but I'm trying to give you a lot of information for this third session. I want to make sure that you have enough information that you can go to any chart and pretty much have your way. All right. I want you to have your way with the charts. All right. So that would put them down here. And we're going to talk about what just happened with that area up there. We're going to talk about that because I didn't mean to make that green. I hope that this is informative for you. I really do. And then I'm going to show you those templates after I do this. I'm going to show you those templates so I can go. I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys. I, I don't. I don't want to bore you. But I am trying to make sure that you have some information. Definitely you new traders that's coming on board. want to give you some stuff that'll make sense. So roughly the seven, the center of the seven is somewhere to this effect. That's somewhere in there. Okay, so the center of the seven. That's somewhere in there, center of that seven. That'll be right about here. So we're going with the center. Give or take. Give or take. Give or take. All right. So the center of the trend, the cost of the thought. Remember, there's primary and secondary values. The first value is ranked the highest. So when they, they go up here, and that's what I want to talk to you about. When they go up here, you have all three of these. Okay. You have this one, this one, and this one. You have all three of those right near the center of the trend, the cost of the thought. OK, the thing that, you know, you evaluate whether or not it's even worth it. The buyers couldn't get the the, you know, the market up from the, the center of the trend here. OK, they couldn't get it to work. They absolutely couldn't get it to work. All right. So now from this side, let me make sure I emphasize this. You had that pattern here, the majority pattern there. And you had it here, okay? You had it on these two here. These are the only two near the center, and that's something you'll take notice as of well. Whenever it comes to the trend, the seven bars, because seven bars is what I'm talking about, the trend. Seven bars is a trend. Seven bars is a trend. I'm just trying to make sure that you can read the movement, the fluctuations. I want you to read the, the movement to get closer, because I know a lot of you talk about trailing. You want to trail. You want to get close. 
if you want to do that, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you get your seven here. No sooner they gave us the seven, they rotate it. That's why I told you, be careful. Don't just jump that seven bar. You can end up in trouble. Here, they gave you the seventh one here. They even ran down almost half of that distance, but then they rotate it. All right. So just be careful. They came back up to where the cost of the thought, the center of the trend, the, the ranking of the highest. OK, they came back up there and they turned around. So they're still they're still one. It can't be both. Remember, it can't be both. One of them have to prevail. OK, so they, they made a trend up. They did. They did. They, they, they even more. So here we go. Let's do this. Let me move this back down here. No soon they made that trend bar, which was here. No soon they made it, they turned around. Okay, they turned around. That's why I told you when they make trends, be careful. It's a reason why I'm picking seven and it's logical and I'll never release it to the public. That's something you would have to, of course, you know, scale up your interaction with me in order to learn. The center of the trend, the, the seven bars is important. It's a reason why I'm picking that number. It's very important. When they get to that number, there's a good chance that they'll turn around. It's a good chance that they'll turn around and rotate. Now, do they have to reverse? No, they can just come back to the center of the trend and take right back off. But I want you to understand whenever they make the trend distance, it's important. Whenever they make the trend, it's important. Please, please don't just rush with this stuff. All right, don't do that. They're still down. See this big wick on the bottom here? That's supposed to gave you that distance from the the uh, the uh, open here. It's a, it's a green bar. So it's open upward to up here. That didn't happen. Them guys came back and they knocked it out. Uh, the wick here, see the wick on the top? The wick on the top, they did not break it. Let's get the high of that. All right, so high. High 43.75, high 43.75. That's the H. So if you're new trader and you don't know, that's the H. So high, let me click on it again. H, 17.543.75. High 17543.75. All right. So when they made this wick, all right. So when they made this wick, this wick right here, the new trader, I want you to just understand this. You don't have to go and try to apply this right away because this is a little bit more advanced for people that have been doing this for a while. I'm trying to give them some information. That is that trend distance. Okay. Now notice how they're getting right to that distance and they're showing just a little bit of weakness. Now, can they continue up? Sure, they can, but that's a wick too. Now they're making a trend off of that high. Now they have no business breaking the high of this bar if they're going to go back down. I don't care how small the wick is. It don't even matter. Okay. They want to go past it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But you saw that they race right into this. So if they don't, if they don't want it now, this there, there's a wick here. That's a trend down. I know it's a very, it's not the time frame you're looking at. I'm not telling you to look at this time frame and find a trend. We know what that is. It's, it's down. But this wick right here, this little teeny wick right here, is a trend down, and it can produce that movement further in this direction. It can. It absolutely can. And it did. Now, will it turn back around and come back up? You'll have to see. I know they put the, the the majority pattern for the up. They put the majority pattern for the up. I totally get it. But I am I am a bit concerned at this point because we, we ran up there after setting this trend and they didn't want to go any further. Can this trend hold? It could. And if that be the case, this is the no close level here. They're giving you a trend off the low here. This is another trend. Back up now. Let's measure it. To the open all right so once you get the, the open you go from the open and you can say they're going to go at least this far okay now let's see if they let's see if that's possible let's see i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna just kind of slide it out the way but let's see can they get up here to this 550 75 let's see can they get up there to 550 75 follow what it's telling you bam there it is okay so that's a fast trade stop would have been right behind this wick on you could again you could jump it on the way up away from the low of the wick you can jump in and say i'm going to get in it hard stop right there take it you know now of course take it back to the open and then project it forward that way you'll know now here's a trend down here's a trend back down now are they going to continue up i don't know we're always reading the hard right edge i don't know we don't have no preconceived notions about what it should do. Now, you can, again, you can go look left if you like, but just look for majority. Please, whatever you do, if you look left, look for majority. Let me give you an idea of what that looks like, and I'm absolutely going to start showing you these other templates, all right? I'm not even going to do that anymore. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let me tell you how to look left and find majority. Let me do that. Let me do that so you'll know. 
I gave you enough of the real time today. I did. All right. So now, oh, this is crazy. All right. So let's go with this. All right. So this is majority. Okay. That's majority. Now, all I did for the new trader, I went and got the Fibonacci tool. This is all I did. And that midpoint, that's a midpoint. And I'm finding, I'm finding, you know, where there's a pivot. It has to be a pivot that makes sense. All right. Now, I can't tell you everything about it because, again, that's that's beyond the scope of what, what I'm offering for free. But do it. Practice it with all pivots. Just do it as many times until you start getting a handle on what it is. Just 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 practice it with all pivots. Do it. Do it with all of them. I'm finding a pivot. Now, wherever I find this situation, I want to tell you right now, they're going to go under that because that's the no close bar. OK, now what I am concerned about is that them not breaking. Let's say they came back from back here. Let's let's just go with this. I see that that area right there, but that's that's not what I want. OK, so let's go with something to this this nature here. They can come all the way down here and try to get back up. They can try it. They can try it. Now, I don't know if it'll work, but they can definitely try it. And you again, you can try it with whatever whatever pivot you want to you want to go with. Like, OK, here you see how they, they took off. Out of all of this, this foolishness here, they took off and then that's where they you know started with it again. So this is a no close level. They'll come under here. OK, now let's get our zone. Let's get our zone. That's roughly right about here. Give or take give or take all right so i just want you to see this this right here this right here the majority of this run got above all of this right in here okay just all of that right in there don't be here trying to buy it it's this pattern that i'm showing you don't be here i know traders they do that they want to buy these pivots when they see these accelerations from them don't do that Please don't do that. That's the result of what's happening below it. That's all or above it. That's all. It's a result of, of what's happening uh, beyond that pivot. So try to be on the outer uh, perimeters of it, if you will. Try to be away from it. Don't don't be there and see that you know, now you can go with this one, too. I, I just like I like to compress the issue really, really tight and, and then take a look. But you can go with this one. That got above this in here okay so now this is kind of kind of what you would want you know this is kind of what you will want take this this right here all of this right in here and then this jump is above all of this they're not willing to get price beneath this area right here so this run here was them trying to force price down there's something taking place and we know what it is it's majority that's all it's buying and selling Something that's taking place beneath this price level. Don't be here. Be beneath it. That's all. Be beneath that price level. You see how they ran down this morning. And let me open it up. You see how they ran down and got really close to that pivot and then jumped out? We did not look left first. We didn't. We've been messing with the hard right edge. We didn't look left. But I, I want to show you. You can look left, too. You can do that. You can. But don't don't be there. Just Just don't be there. All right. So. That's, uh, yeah, that's all I'll cover with that. All right, so I hope you guys have been uh, enjoying that information. There's your mid back beneath there. They should uh, come down some more. Now, let's look and look at, let's take a look at some free stuff. Let's take a look at some free stuff. And I know uh, Dimitri, uh, one of the fellow professionals here, I thank you so much, my friend. He has suggested, uh, now I did show some templates, but the way he expressed it is, you know, showing a template with, not, uh, with just maybe one or two signals on it. So I'm going to do that as well. Let me just pause that. So, yeah, so he had, you know, said right here, uh, sing, singles, you know, show indicator sing, singles one by one on an empty chart without deeper explanation, you know, so I don't reveal the trade secrets so you can see the potential and be blown away. Well, I don't know if y'all guys are going to be blown away, but I'll show you just a couple a couple charts, just a couple, just two. I'm going to just show you two, and I'm going to just show you. Actually, I'm going to show you your gap stuff. I know a lot of people like the gap stuff, so I'm, I'm going to show you uh, my version of that. It, it trust me i'm not the best at this stuff i'm just giving you what the market is doing trust me I, it's not me all right so now let me show you your free stuff first and then if you want you can stick around and see the last two charts but if not i'm gonna show you your free stuff and it's only about four charts i'm gonna show you so after four charts if you want to just go ahead and leave i totally get it but here's the ranges so you would get these ranges all right so and the center of the range center of the range you just try to use that for a bias if you will that's all you got to do OK, and I'll just scroll through it a bit and you can see the ranges at work if you want. You can have this template for absolutely free. All you got to do is just uh, let me know you want it. That's all. Just let me know you want it. 
And um, it would be ideal. Did I put some some data on this thing? I thought I put some data. No, I didn't put no data on here. So let me uh, let me get put just put about fifteen days up here, so you can see for yourself uh, the ranges. All right. So let me just kind of push through this a little bit. And there's a black one. I'll show you the black background. It's all the same though, to be quite honest with you. But I'll show you the black background. But they tend to run away from these ranges. And again, you want to kind of use the center of them. That would help. You know, if you got now, there's another range that I provide. Uh, beyond uh of course the free stuff but you you can do just fine with these two i promise you can there's a lot of them i know but this is this is two of them this is two of them and, and all the ranges i know they they gonna yield you the same responses it's trust me i've done my my homework for, for many years so i'll show you the black one here so let me show you the black one it's all the same but if you like black templates i'm gonna give you a black template and a white one and you can have have them both all right so that's the black one all right so now let me get out of that now let me show you the um uh let me show you oh man i meant to uh let me get you i want to show you the statics do i have those available right now yeah so let me get those statics let me show you the statics so this is another free template that you would receive if you wanted all right and i have it in black as well so you're not just you know having to have the white template you can have the black one so let me get my crosshairs off here so you don't get mixed in with the crosshairs all right, so the market turns at particular price levels. All right, now this black floater, if you will, I'm not even, don't worry about it. That's the black floater for the bar. Don't worry about that. It's the gray levels here and that blue line, uh, the blue level is the, the target. So you're always trying to get to the 55. All right, so you're always trying to get to the 55. That's the target. All right, and so I just give you a template with a bunch of them. You would have to adjust these levels as the market move further out because I only put as many of them as I can, you know, of course, load in. And it's the constants line indicator that's on NinjaTrader that makes it uh, be able to do this. And the, the behavior, and then let me tell you about the behavior. The stop is supposed to be, so you're at 25, the stop's supposed to be right outside of 35. So 535, one tick outside 535. If you're coming down, which is south, if you're coming down towards the 15, then it would be one tick outside of 05. So 05 would be the stop. This don't give you stop placements. And so from 95 up to 05, that you will have your stop outside of 05. From 85 down to 75, one, one tick outside of 75. And then, of course, the uh, 55, if you're coming south, it's 45 with one tick outside of 45 for it to turn. And if you're coming up north to 55, then it's 65 with one tick outside of 55. All right. So now let me scroll through it and let you kind of see. And again, the target is 55. And you'll see they'll start acting all crazy sometimes at 55. They'll just sit there and start hovering. But um, I don't want to scroll too, uh, too much data. So that that's pretty much all you got. It's just turning points. Free, free, free turning points. So you can have some turning points there. And it's free. So it's uh, and it's the black one. It's all the same. White, black is all the same. All right. So let's see. See, so it's all the same, pretty much all the same. But I try to give you both just in case you're someone that has a, a black uh, background. And you don't want to uh, utilize the white. Now, let me show you the boxes because everybody loves boxes. And then I'm going to show you another chart and then I am going to go. All right. Oh, and I'm going to show you the diagrams of what I've been trying to teach you. I am going to show you that. So. The boxes, the boxes, everybody like the boxes. All right. So there's a, uh, this is my version of it. They're not going to pop up everywhere. They're, they're just not, they're just not, I, I'm not doing that. All right. So you can, you can do the boxes uh, again, my bars. And that's another thing too. My bars are particular, uh, uh, particularly special in my opinion, because it's, it's showing you what the, what the box is going to be. It's showing you before the box even show up, my bar will already be colored green the and i'll show you the template of the bars and stuff it's going to already be colored green letting you know that that scenario has the potential because you're looking for majority it has nothing to do with some third bar it's all about mitigating risk you don't want to have to risk a lot of money so wherever you see the boxes is where the market can turn it now this again this is my version they're not going to pop up everywhere i'm telling these boxes to pop up where i think it's most significant so Oftentimes, you're going to see them in places that it really means something. That's all. It really means something. It's not in areas where it's just it's not doing that. So all of this running down the board. Yeah, totally get it. Go ahead and run down the board. I don't want no boxes in that stuff because I know what that means. So I'm coding boxes based on what it means when, when you're ready to go down the board. When it's ready to run, that's where I want the boxes to be at. All right. So that's the boxes if you just like the box so when i say 100 bucks i think the boxes by themselves that i code is worth the 100 bucks but i'm gonna give you all my price action indicators now here here's the uh now this is the one that i've been of course offering to you the no touch the no touch that's this one absolutely this one and you you know of course like i said my my 
my no touch pattern it's going to color the third i mean absolutely here's a down bar but it's green why because that mid is above that high now of course that box would have been there you would have had a box there because this bar is low isn't touching that bar's high so a box would have been there but why why do that you would have known that the moment that this green bar was closing above the high of this red one go ahead and take trade and just take the right and then i have bar colors and then that's another indicator i have here if you want a bit more frequency of being able to get into the market and every colored bar is a is a hard stop so this is what i've been showing you online okay and this is this is what i've been teaching you and this is free what i'm teaching you here this information here yes uh that's in my indicator suite you can buy it and get the bar color the other text on this chart you're seeing and it's trying to give you every fluctuation every turn you can possibly want to uh, get in on and hide your stop every green bar you seeing totally different than the no touch method down here all right so i don't want to bore you guys with that mess all right so here we go here we go i really appreciate you but i'm gonna show you some diagrams to help you better understand what it is that i've been trying to teach you the whole time here we go the mid of this run, the mid of this run is above that high. I'm trying to teach you that. All right. And this every every push is just a candle. That's all it is. Principle, majority, majority rule states that the opposing the minority will be compelled to follow the majority. Compel. They're forced to. It's not it's not a negotiation. You're going this way. So you're going with us. And so we're trying to make sure when we look at the market that we're doing just that. And this is what I also teach people how to read the market like literature, because from the title to the last remarks, the author will always make mention of what the book was always about. And so when you're reading the chart, I want you to look for reiteration. The trend, the trend is the intention. And of course, you got your cause and effect. So the trend distance. So if you know what the intention is, what do, what do the intentions want? It wants something. The distance, it's it's one in the same. And so it's really important that you, and you got to look for difference. And I'm trying to show you how to spot difference with what I just did this morning, how to look at the bars, how to look at the bars directly within one bar and know that you're offered trend, trend distance. So there's difference. The market is, is the market is offering you majority. That's the principle. And it's your job to look for difference. All right. So I hope this has been so much and so much informative, so much more informative because I spent a little bit more time and hopefully I shared enough here, uh, of course, to get you to see the chart in a different light. And again, for all you new traders, please, please, please do not be like the majority. I just need, need you, need you to be different. I need you to be different, not for myself, but someone else. Fate brought you here. Fate. I did not buy any any subscribers, likes, comments. I'm not doing that stuff. The information is priceless. It's a bad financial decision for me to spend money on something that I know is priceless. I'm not going to spend money to give it to a bunch of selfish people. That's why I definitely wouldn't do it. That's a that's 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 crazy. But the number one reason is that's a bad that's a poor financial decision to spend money on something that is worth more than the money I'm spending. I'm not doing that. That's crazy. You shouldn't trust me if I did something like that. Don't trust nothing, I'm going to tell you. And so many YouTubers, because I'm not one, they're spending money to entice you to learn. What is stuff that will complicate your trading and it's, not, and it's not consistent. And that's why I wouldn't even dare listen to them. They'll spend money and try to have you think that what they're telling you is of so much value. And it's not consistent. Think about it. I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.